Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, I hope you guys are doing amazing. It has been quite a while since I've filmed and life has been really, really busy and I'm not gonna lie, just wanted to live in the moment. And yeah, how are you guys? How have you been? Um, today we're just gonna jump straight on into it because it's gonna be a long one. So basically, I don't know if you guys have been watching the Under Consumption Core on tiktok it's gone viral it's actually gone viral here on youtube as well I just got so inspired by it because i was like i okay right first things first i have a shopping addiction which i need to work through i know but i was like you know what i need to start using my products i've got like i think over 40 products or something that i've been working through and usually that would pain me so much because i was i'd be like oh my god that means i need to buy a new one i don't know I guess I have hoarder tendencies and that's from growing up in an Asian household but we'll get onto that that is a whole topic for another day let's get inspired by that challenge I have been collecting so many like I literally have two massive boxes of these the fact that this is only half of it shows you a lot so I need to run and get the other ones after I've showed you these bits but yeah I just love going through my products now I'm going to go to luxury forward slash minimal just products that I'm, I'm going to use and love anyway because I have so much I'm just going to jump on straight into it so first we're going to go with body care uh, just randomly because it's here so the first thing I have used and also I want to say that I know a lot of my products are brands that I'm no longer buying from but I don't want to be wasteful I want to use the products and then obviously look for cheaper alternatives so if you see any of like these products and you're like okay they're on the list and I can't buy them anymore please drop like your recommendations down below and stuff like that please let me know if do you know what I want to inspire at least one of you guys to start doing using up your products like every day is a special day so start with saving it for a special day let me know if i've inspired you to use up your products or go on the like the under consumption trend i will say i do have hauls for you guys because it's my birthday month and i have been going a bit crazy however i do need to stop and i do need to carry on using my products but whatever i brought i know i'm going to love and use and if someone's gotten me a present i'm not going to turn it away like they've put their thought time and energy into getting me something I'm not gonna just not accept it because I have too many products like I am I will use it trust me so first things first is this frosted candy angel shower and bath gel this I can't I don't think we're allowed to say it anymore but it is a of something which we all know and love and it is expensive I'm telling you it smells exactly the same I loved using this and this is what I mean when I say I have hoarded like tendencies because I had to buy backups just immediately after smelling it because I was like oh my gosh that's crazy that is a near drip so I have loved using this it smells amazing yeah I think it's such a wonderful present as well for someone and oh, I really loved using this this thing is this now I do have a little bit left in it but it is the sticky dates from Lush expensive but divine such a luxury like treat yourself moment i don't know if people find these expensive or not i i do um but yeah i love this so much oh it is so edible i love it i need to oh god i want to buy for my birthday i want to buy the sticky dates version like the spray um so yeah i think i might do that on my birthday but i've got a little bit left but i'm showing you now because in my next empties i won't be able to show you this because when you take five items back to Lush to recycle you either get money off your next shop or you can get a face mask that's worth £10 and these are going to go in the recycling bin anyway like I might as well just take them back to Lush you know so yeah that's great I'm sure I saw someone as well do like she took it in and got it refilled so I might ask them if they do that this this is the glow butter body butter <laughs> it's pink lychee and crystal waters oh my gosh I'm going to find out it's going to be such a hard balance to not recommend stuff because there are empties but guys this is a of you know what I've not tried those versions but this one is 3 dollars from Home Bargains did I buy two backups yes I did was it necessary sorry but yeah because I'm look it's great I've literally 
there's nothing in that once I was wearing it and I was like oh my god you know when you smile yourself you're like oh my god is that me yeah it was it was this every time I use this I am um, you know how people are like oh my god someone chased me down the street um do you know what I was wearing I chased myself yeah it's great I love it so so much and I have two backups I've nearly done with the other one as well so you'll probably see that in my next empties too just going to show go on to hair care these are so basically I'm not sure if this does anything it probably does but this honestly like I can't even explain it to you when I use this shampoo you're gonna be like well how was you washing your hair anyway but it's the cleanest wash I've ever had like it's felt clean and the rose scent just stays in your hair which is amazing this is amazing. I I got this as a sample, like as a whole bundle on TikTok. And we it had a body wash in it and a hair mask. So yeah, this um I have to repurchase because it's the only shampoo I've ever used that my hair's actually felt clean. Okay, that's still got a little bit left. Probably might use that to clean some brushes, but gone. Like literally gone. A thousand pound a thousand pounds a thousand percent a repurchase i so these were lush pots and like little sample pots so i had candy rain conditioner empty um this one smelled really oh no it was this one that smelled like um it smelled sweet and it smelled nice but then it had this like jawbreaker type smell and i was like oh no i don't like that but i wanted to use it all up which i did and this though is an american cream conditioner smells divine used it loved it i did love it but would i pay to get it again probably not this smells gorgeous this was the revive hair moisturizer i would buy this again this was so good my hair like i felt such a difference the other two i wouldn't buy and then i have this one i think i've used this all oh i've got a little bit left in there that i can use a sheer hair Thing, like oil this for the ends of my hair because it's so dry it's so so good would i repurchase probably i'm not sure because i have so many other products that i need to get through but yeah like i feel like the same with the revive like i don't really need it like it's not a oh my god i need to replace that asap no it's not that situation it's that okay my hair loved it enjoyed it but can i cope without it probably uh, next thing i have loved and used and mind the dirty part absolutely empty is the Nivea soft it's just amazing I love it people say it smells like an old people's home unless you worked in an old people's home trust me this is anything but what it smells like it's the old classic you know this is the Ola Henriksen strength trainer peptide moisturizer booster now you're going to be like that has got product in it it is my new one of this that I've just potted into here so I am trying to use what I can as well and you know because this is so big like sometimes I don't put moisturizer on and I know it's so lazy because I'm like oh it's just massive comp but so my head works in weird ways I know but yeah I've just put it into here and I'm also going to use a little part to take it to work as well you know when you do vuzzle and like your skin dries out yeah I need it for that let's talk about some other face products that I've been loving um, SPFs love this is a primer and an SPF and then this is the Beauty of Jason SPF. Oh, so good. It's so, so, so good. This is more, these both. This I will use if I can't be bothered to primer anything. I will just put this on a little bit of moisturiser if I can be bothered. But this just works amazing. It's fully empty. This Beauty of Jason, again, I've, when I brought these, I brought backups because the reviews were amazing. So if you do see them again, I'm not gone out and brought them. Well, I did, but not like now. <laughs> Beauty of Jason for work when you just want to quickly yeah this is great like the skin in me one i am be using so so much but i feel like that's one for him because it does take a little bit longer for it to sink into the skin but beauty of jason i have got so many of these as backups i know but i'm making my way through them it's okay and then this is the soon jung times two barrier intensive cream used it loved it used it at night kind of slug my face with it Again, got backups of it because the reviews were amazing. Yes, it is brilliant. This one is the SXC Glow um, Advanced Cleaning Serum. Again, got backups of this. 
it is so good you know recently I've been quite lazy with my skincare and when I, I did this back in I was like yeah okay it is it works so yeah this is a TikTok brand I will leave them down below but it's dark circles pigmentation and dark spots it is quite expensive when you think like there's cheap things on the market but honestly sometimes actually a lot of the times you get what you pay for and this is really really good and I it was so good when I first used it and I got it sent to me that I brought backups immediately because I was like I don't know if you guys have seen my TikTok I did a skincare routine where I was using just this just the under eye pigment serum and something else this soap my skin was amazing so yeah I need to stop being lazy with skincare I think it's because I have so many I'm so overwhelmed I really actually once I've used up all my products my backups and everything I want to try go as minimal skincare and as natural as possible which yeah just thought I'd let you know let's move on to lip products so when I tell you I have been working through these for months so I got sent I didn't get sent these I got these gifted to me as a pack of three it has a little bit in there but I'm including it in my empties because I think by the la next time you see it, it's going to be gone this is the lip butter balm and yeah they were gifted to me I did not buy them just trying to use them all up and yeah they it's hard to talk about products that obviously are on the list because I don't want to encourage anything this is the Laneige lip mask. When I tell you, I was probably about six months when I got this and I'm finishing it at 32. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's got a tiny bit in there. You know what makes such a massive difference when you're trying to use up all your products? Oh my God, my mic wasn't even on all that time. Okay, I'm just going to have to deal without it because I'm not recording all the time. As my mic wasn't working all that time. I hope the audio quality is okay here. But anyway... Um, I've just taken it off. I'm not recording all that again. But anyway, so you know what helps with using products is keep eye care and lip care away from your, like your skincare at night time and leave it by bedside. And honestly, like I'll just pat it on, like my eye cream and then lip. And that is the only reason I have literally nearly finished this. Love to buy this again. I don't know, like, okay, it's hard to explain. I don't think it's like when you know when people are like oh my god I slept and I woke up and it was on like what is unless someone's putting it on for you in the middle of the night which is very concerning probably get cameras in your room or something because that's yeah obviously it comes off like it of course it does I'm like I'm changing position of course it's gonna come off but it is the glossiest like little lip balm I think it is it is a bit like messy because you have to put your finger in it that sounded really weird but yeah I would repurchase this but obviously I have so many that I need to get through so unless it's a gift it's get, might be on a little bit of a hold I just have a tiny bit in actually I could probably use but basically empty these are great not as glossy as this I'm gonna put it out there but great for handbag travel great for just taking with you also notice as well it's really great for the gym like your lips just stay hydrated you look glowy just look like a little glow queen, you know what I mean? This has been one of my faves. This is the Nude Sticks Candy Kiss. It is the girliest, most cutest pink. Loved using it. This is £2. Like, if you're looking for a peptide lip balm glossy treatment, it's £2. You cannot go wrong. Look, I have squeezed everything out of that. Next one. I love the fire, you guys know. If you want glossy, glossy, glossy lips, let me see if this got any in it. If you want glossy lips and you want to, like, seriously cause eye stuff to people, Refi. It's always Refi. I've used it. This is Rosewood. I know I'm just piling my lip products on. I love Refi glosses so much. I, even if I have loads of other ones, I think it's always just going to be a purchase. And it is the P. Louise Cherry. This is really good if you want like a slight tint and a lip gloss. Like it stays for like surprisingly a long time. These ones I don't mind. The crown is somewhere at work. <laughs> surprisingly long lasting. I do not like the other lip treatment unique ones. It does nothing for me. Leaves a white cast. I really don't like it. This one does have a little bit in, but it's got like little bitty stuff in it. So I think I just need to get a new one of these. But this is Red Delicious. Red Delish. See, mm. Red Delish is Delish. 
yeah the only ones i'm going to keep out of here are probably the actually none they're pretty much done but yeah that's done too i have like three or four other ones that are like half empty and need to be like chopped but yeah that is my lip glosses now let me get onto fragrance give me one sec this is all my fragrances that i've used up jamie i am a perfume girl through and through i have to smell nice i have to do it guys please if you please just smell nice when you're going out in public even when you're at home just smell nice it makes you feel so much better anyway i have been trying to use up these like i said i don't know how long for months and months it's not like i've just been on it for the last month and used these like i just want to get rid of perfumes that are old use them all up and have new ones in okay let's get on to like cheaper perfumes first and then we'll go on to yeah more expensive ones so this one is a body spray it's got, still got a bit in it actually this is how what it's meant to be like this for a body spray is so and it was 99p is so long lasting it smells exactly like it if not better dare i say it because it lasts and you can smell it and i have had so many compliments on this this one this is the pretty girl perfume it's actually really cute isn't it um this again is meant to be like something else it's just cute cutesy and floral and i got this from miniso and i think it was about like 5.99 or something used it all up well i've got a tiny bit left but yeah oh my gosh i have got another one of these that i've used up these are the I'll rehab lovely perfumes. When I tell you, I was just in the toilet at work once. Well, I'm always there. But someone literally stopped me and she was like, excuse me, like, I'm so sorry to stop you, but you smell amazing. Can I ask what you're wearing? And me being the non-gatekeeper that I am, I was like, babes, let me get up my Amazon. Look. And she took a picture. Pretty sure she took a picture of my dress as well. But anyways, we're not going to talk about that because it's like PTSD and that. But anyways um these are so good if you are a clean girl clean girl fragrance this was that 5.99 but i got sent it like i'm sorry my tiktok sold these are i don't care oh, if you want to smell like a clean girl these these i'm sorry no matter how many products i ever have i will purchase these when i want to and no one will stop me like i'm sorry but even if i'm like the ex most extreme minimalist I will always purchase these called lovely by the way and that is this scent it's just lovely it's clean girl fresh out the shower like you know when you just want to yeah yeah mm -hmm. probably one of the few perfumes that have me running after myself <laughs> just gonna include this this is like a mini it's so cute of the jean paul gaultier it smells really weird but anyways um yeah that's a mini used it all up uh this one is the little roller use that and then i have let me get its little partner out then we have the very good girl glam yes yes if you want people again if you want to run after yourself this is powdery oh. if you don't like powdery scents you're gonna hate this if you like powdery scents, you are going to be blown away. I don't think I've ever had or ever will have a fragrance like this ever again until I buy it again. But it is stunning. It's expensive, but it's so worth it. I got the 80 mil. It's so good. It's the powderiness. Like I've used both of them. Again, such a compliment getter. Yes. I feel bad because I feel like I'm like encouraging you guys to go buy it but like i'm telling you this is why i've used stuff up because i genuinely love it if you want to smell like marshmallows and candy and just so feminine and girly this compared to other scents i get that it would probably be a bit kiddish because it smells like marshmallows i don't care again another compliment that i, I like I probably need to start doing this, but if someone asks me for perfume, I will give them my perfume, even if it's like expensive, like whatever it is, it's there to be used, you know? <sighs> when I tell you, like, I gave this to people and they were like, what the heck? Wow. It lasts all day. Again, happily would repurchase. So, like, affordable as well. And again, like, I personally have not had a sweet marshmallow, like, 
fragrance, then this gets changed scent. But this is not. This is from Amazon. Nothing more to say. I did like it. Probably wouldn't purchase it because by the time I got to the end, it did change scent. Oh my gosh, this is Michael Kors Gorgeous. When I tell you this is like summer in a bottle, it is so. Again, like I will get whiffs of it throughout the day and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is that? That fruity and like just a summer vibe. Wouldn't necessarily wear it in winter, to be honest. This in summer is just something else. I remember the first day I wore it, I kid you not. Someone was like, oh my God, Smina, is that you? Like I followed this trail and I was like, baby, yeah. And I was like shocked as well because I was like, oh, thanks, my new perfume. So yeah. Next two, we have these. This, I know it's a bestseller and it's gorgeous, right? It just does not last on me. So I would not buy this again. Like how are you telling me something else last longer and it was like that? Like, it just, personally, for me, my opinion, it gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Just wish it had more staying power on me. This I randomly got because, why did I randomly get it? I think it was just like a really, really good price. Like, it was less than half price and I was like, oh my God. Yeah, it was less than half price and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to try that because these perfumes are meant to last a very long time. And yeah. I got it and I was like, how did no one ever tell me about this powdery? It's, the okay, they're both powdery, but this is different because it's powdery in a like, a different kind of way, whereas this powder is the rose that you're getting. And I think, for me, I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury Love Frequency, I love it so much and I have it in my collection, I can't believe it. It was because it smelled like this and they're both, they're both different but then similar as well it's just a really strong powdery rose vibe and again if you don't like rose perfume you're not gonna like it just oh you would smell so womanly i love it please 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 check for yourself if they're on the list and see if we can purchase them or not yeah if there's any that i've mentioned here please let me know like even if you think that i will know that they're on the list please just leave them down below so other people can read it probably might not even know next up i finally used golden decade from zara and guys you can literally go back i don't know when i made that video but i was comparing this to a high-end one yeah this is the same bottle mate <laughs> I've only just used it, but I'm glad to have used it. Obviously, won't be buying it again, but I did enjoy it. Yeah. Givenchy Lint Linturdy. Oh, do you know how I describe this? Oh, it's got some in it. Oh. Is I describe it as oily. And if you are like repulsed by that, honestly, that's how I can vibe it. Like I can smell the perfume oil that comes through. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure which side it's on. Livy Bell, this is really, really random. Like this has definitely been used. This reminds me of Glasgow. Whenever I smell this perfume, it reminds me of Glasgow because that is the first place I smelled it. So it just takes me back there. But again, won't be repurchasing. So next up, I have the YSL Libra, Libra Intense. <sighs> the fact that people that I know are like, this is you, this is you in a bottle says a lot they are completely empty i have been loving them again i always got these gifted for my birthday so i am still going through a lot so you will be seeing them in empties but it's not because i've like ran out and brought them you know with these ones i'm gonna take the tops off and make them read diffusers so that'll be really really fun and they will look nice and i will feel better knowing that i recycled and used them as well you know how i'm like i'm doing kia as well using the pot for something else where i can i will be doing that if i can't then it'll be short but yeah i can't even describe the scent to you because i promise you it will encourage you to go and that's not what i want so all i'm saying is people know me by this and well obviously i'm gonna once i've used them all up i'm gonna have to change that that Guys, believe it or not, is the end of my video. I can't believe it. Everything I had to show you. I'm really, really, really proud of myself. If you know me, you will also be proud of me <laughs> to start getting through my backups of backups of backups and then have a simple 
routine for everything makeup is another one i need to start using up my makeup like i have been doing these products but i'm actually going to do a massive declutter after my birthday because i don't know i feel like people know me for my love on makeup if someone was to gift me something i don't just want to turn around and be rude that will be after my birthday so that would be interesting watch but yeah that is everything for this video i inspired you in some way to use up your products i go i can't believe it's 40 minutes long i don't know how long this video is actually going to be but I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. And yeah, remember to subscribe. Bye.